I wanted to do a little raw update about what's been going on lately and like fitness wise and stuff like that. Um, life has been really, really crazy with moving and adjusting to a whole new life. And we moved maybe about 45 to an hour away and I've never moved in my life, in my adult life. Like I've always lived in my mom's house. I've been blessed to like stay here until I was able to purchase my own home, but that's not the point. But the point is I'm commuting and it's something different and I don't really like change. I like my routine. I like things to stay the same. I like knowing what's going to happen. So since moving, we've been eating really, really bad because we commute to work and because we work a lot, we work like 40 hours a week or more sometimes. We both do, my fiance and I. Um, I don't want to spend every day cooking, so I feel like meal prepping is going to be the best way to kind of save time and also to stay on track at the same time. So we're going to start doing that. We've been trying to do that right now, but because of the holidays, like Thanksgiving just passed and stuff like that, it's been kind of um, like weird. It hasn't been like a regular work week and stuff. So we canceled our gym membership at LA Fitness. If you hear that in the background, it's my dog. I'm sorry. But, um, and we got a new membership at One Life Fitness, which is just down the street from our new house. And I love it. I love the gym. They're like a sister gym of Sport and Health, if you've ever been to Sport and Health. And I've been to Sport and Health before. We used to be members there. And that one was by far my favorite gym that I've been to. And I've been to almost all of the gyms around my area and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. But, um, the only thing is that... I don't know if it's the area or um, I don't know what it is, but a lot of people in that gym are very, very fit. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that that's a really, really good thing. I think that's going to give me the kick in the ass that I need to like be serious about this and actually lose the weight because I've done it before and stuff like that. I've lost the weight and I know what it takes to lose the weight. It's not that complicated to lose weight. You just... Um, don't eat as you have to be in a calorie deficit and you have to stay active, whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's swim, dance, weight lift, um, whatever it is, as long as you're in a calorie deficit, then you will lose the weight. It's not that hard, but for me is actually sticking to it. And I think during this time in my life where there's so much more things going on, um, I kind of just put it back in the back burner and I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. I'll eat healthier I'll make healthier choices, but that's actually not what I really do because I have so much other things I have to worry about. So, um, I had, I went to the gym a couple times last week and I left, sorry, that's my dog. Um, I left feeling just down and I left feeling really insecure and kind of like, I don't know, just really insecure and I didn't like it. I didn't like how it made me feel and stuff. And I mean, of course I'm insecure about the body that I'm in right now. I'm not happy with the body that I am, that I have. I am in right now like I love my body and stuff like that don't get me wrong I've been to a point where I hated my body absolute like a lot and I feel like now that I'm growing up I appreciate my body I love my body and stuff like that but I don't feel comfortable in it if that makes sense so it just makes me really insecure and I left the gym feeling even more insecure I guess I've been having a lot of trouble lately just kind of zoning out and truly loving what I'm doing at the gym and I feel like um, that has a lot to do with the fact that I don't feel comfortable in my own skin completely. And I just kind of have to, I mean, there's nothing to do but just keep going because that's not, giving up because I feel comfortable is not going to get me to the point where I want to be. So um, I just wanted to give a real life raw update with no makeup on, no fancy angles, no background or anything like that. And I'm going to, I don't know, I just want to look back on, on this and see where I started and where like I am maybe a year from now or a couple months from now and stuff like that.